Good morning, everyone. This is Lenovo Yoga Slim 7. Let's say you'd like to get into BIOS due to reinstall Windows or change a couple of settings. So normally what you should do, we need to find a BIOS key like from F1 to F12, one of them, okay, and then get into BIOS. But Lenovo always makes things different. They always have some sort of additional button for the BIOS, which is called Novo button, which located most of the time on the right hand side of the laptop or on the left hand side, or sometimes right next to the keyboard. Okay, but if you look at, into this machine, we can see on the left hand side, there is no little hole extra in there for Novo button. And if you look at on the right, we can see the power button, USB, USB and memory card slot. So it must be located at the back, which is surprising, you know. It's not that recognizable, but definitely there is, okay? So let's fold it and check at the back. If you look at carefully, we can see on the right-hand side, I mean left-hand side, right next to the ventilation, there is a little hole in there. And it shows some sort of sign which is anti-clockwise, okay? And that's the button for BIOS, okay? In Lenovo, this is called Novo button, menu button. Okay. So to get into BIOS, we need some sort of paperclip or SIM ejector tool, something like that. Unfold it. And then we need to keep the laptop switched off completely because this is a kind of power button too, you know. All right, so connect your bootable Windows installer. If you don't know how to create one, you can check. I would leave the video link in the description so you'd know how to create one Windows 10 and 11 bootable USB disk. So make sure the laptop switched off, you connect your installer. And if you would like, you can connect your charger, which is good to have. It's a kind of backup. Make sure you don't run out of the battery. While the system is off, I'm gonna Put it through this hole and make a little click. One click should be fine and it's going to turn on the machine. I can see the keyboard light is there so that means it's turning on. Here we go. So this is called Novo button menu. As you can see there are a few options. BIOS setup, boot menu, system recovery. All right and normal boot. So we're going to select the BIOS and hit enter. Now we are at the BIOS page which is information you can find all the details about your machine. But if you would like to configure it, you just need to press the right arrow to go to right or left. So first thing we need to get into security section, okay? From security section, we're gonna change a couple of uh, settings for the boot, especially the secure boot options. As you can see, it shows enable. By default, that is enable, and that's absolutely fine for EFI boot. But if you'd like to change it for legacy, then you must have to disable it because legacy means secure boot disable. Just mind it. Okay. But if you want to do in EFI, I mean, most of the cases nowadays, Windows 11 or 10 in EFI, then you have to make it enable like that. Hit enter again, and it's pretty done. So the last option we need to get into boot section, which is that one. And as you can see, the first option is called USB boot. So USB boot has to be enabled. If that is disabled, it does not matter if you'd like to install in EUFI or legacy, that would not work because USB would not be recognizable. So make sure you make it enabled. By the way, by default, that is always enabled. So pretty much that's all. Now, if you look at the bottom option, you either can leave it like that. As you can see, this is the existing windows on the top. And the second boot is my UEFI USB stick. I mean, Windows installer. We can leave it like that. And then we don't have to change it again. Because if you change it here, then after the Windows installation, still the USB stick is the first boot. Instead, we're going to save by pressing F10 and the system would restart. At this point, what do you need to do? we need to repeat the same thing okay so once it turns on we'll switch it off and then we'll uh, take a kind of paper clip push the noble button again and this time instead of getting into 
file settings, we're going to get into boot menu. So let me show you how I did it. Okay, so let's switch it off completely. And then we're going to take the paper clip while the USB is connected. And also I do suggest please leave the charger on. Okay, leave the power charger on. So in that way, you don't have any interruption while you set up Windows. So click one, you're going to feel the click. And then it's going to start up with the noble button menu. Yep. Now the third option is the boot menu. Hit enter. And then it's going to give us the options, available options. So my USB, that one, second one is this USB. So I'm going to highlight it and hit enter. Boom, start. Now, if nothing wrong with the USB stick, then it's going to load up. By the way, it takes time. You know, it depends on how fast is your USB, USB port and obviously uh, the machine, I mean laptop. Okay, but it shouldn't take more than a couple of minutes. Okay, that's the worst case scenario could happen. Okay, if there is any light with your USB stick, then you can see the light would flash. I can see that. That means something is going on in the background. Here we go. So from now, you know how to do that. It's so simple and easy just to choose what you want to choose, like language, region, keyboard, input method, and everything. If you do ask me, Windows 10 and 11, is that the same procedure? Yes. By the way, when you get to this point, your trackpad might get disabled. Okay, don't be surprised. So you can use either the keyboard like that. So how are you going to do that? space key for entering and tab tab button for selecting okay i'm not going to use the mouse just to show you how i done it so we're going to highlight it as you can see the light is getting highlighted yep and then you need to choose by the arrow so let's say for example windows 10 pro and now once it highlighted with the blue button, I'm going to do space key. I think another USB port is not working properly, so I'm going to leave it like that. I don't want to waste my time with that. And now do the space key again. Then, yep. Exactly like that. Highlighted with the tab button. Let's make it a little bigger. Accept the terms and condition. And yeah, like that. If you would like to do clean installation, go for the bottom option, which is custom installation. And here is the very important part. Okay. Now all those partitions are existing partition. There is the data. If you do have any data, please don't delete it. Make sure you back it up first before you do anything else. And then once you hit next, it's going to install Windows 10 or 11, whatever it is. It's going to take 10, 15 minutes. Do a couple of restart and it should be fine.